How's it going guys? Strife here. Um, today I wanted to do a test on the different warrior weapons and the DPS potential. So um, first thing people have been asking me about a great sword build and if they can use great sword with my axe mace build that I have uh, on my YouTube page and link below. Um, the answer is no because the axe uh, uses its burst skill quite a bit. So you want to take 30 in discipline like I did in my build. Um, great sword, you're not going to be using burst at all. So there are a few uh, different builds. They kind of center around the same thing, though. I like uh, this 25, 25, 0, 10, 10 build. There are a couple modifications. Uh, some people do. You could do like a 20. You could go 30 for uh, a last chance. Some people like. Um, some people do 20 in discipline if they aren't using tactics at all. I like the banner still because it's going to increase uh, your entire party DPS and you also have the option to switch out to either empowered or uh, increased longbow range. So this is what I prefer. Um, this is what I'm going to be testing with. Uh, everything else is pretty generic. You're going to want great sword damage, berserker power, vulnerability, uh, great sword cooldown. And then uh, I'm using banners and heightened focus here. Um, so I'll be testing this with great sword. You can use the same build for uh, one-handed sword. I'll be testing and then axe mace, and then axe mace with switching to longbow. Um, so those are the four tests I'm going to do today. The only food I'm going to be using is the omnum berry pies. So I will get started.
Alright, so this is the uh, sword build. For the sword, like I mentioned, you use the same traits as great swords, so you can actually swap between them. Um, you're going to change the actual traits out though, even though the trees stay the same. So Berserker Power is going to stay the same. Obviously, you're not going to want great sword 10% uh, damage anymore, so you're going to switch to dual wielding. Uh, in the arms tree, same thing for uh, vulnerability on crit, but again, you're going to switch to Blade Master instead of the uh, cooldown for Great Sword. And then tactics and discipline are going to be the same. So we will test this build out now. Alright, so after looking through the footage, it looks like Axe uh, without switching and then Greatsword offer the most DPS potential. Um, the situations where either one of them would come on top is different, obviously. Um, most of the damage from Greatsword is coming from 100 blades. So if you do need to uh, either dodge or the mob moves, you're obviously going to get less DPS with the Greatsword. Um, if a mob is next to a wall, you can use Whirlwind and hit the mob with every hit, which pushes the Greatsword DPS up further. So it just depends the type of mobs you're fighting and where they're located. Um, the other thing is my friend did say that a combo of Whirlwinding through the mob, throwing your sword, and then dashing back uh, does offer more DPS than just sitting and auto-attacking, so that could uh, push the greatsword damage up a bit more in my tests as well, which I didn't do. Um, overall, I still prefer Axe Mace. The reason being, uh, it still offers comparable damage. Uh, it gives you more mobility and it gives you the option to front load your vulnerability. So if I'm going to use uh, Axe 2 and then Mace 4, I put the 8 stacks of vulnerability up. Uh, right at the start of a fight, so it's good for front-loading stuff on like silver mob pulls. You also get the interrupt, which is extremely handy for a lot of uh, trash pulls, especially when you have like a great sword guardian grouping them up. So I still prefer axe mace, but I can see where um, people would like great sword more depending on their playstyle. I think either is a good option for a DPS roll. Um, one thing I did learn is that switching between Axe and Longbow every 5 seconds offers less DPS than just staying with Axe. So I wouldn't switch to Longbow unless you need to go at range or you need the multi-hitting attack to proc your Omnom Berry food to get heals. But uh, it looks like just sticking with Axe uh, is better.
in most instances. Um, I did throw in the sword test as well. Uh, it became obvious that the sword offers less DPS and it's just an inferior build in general. Um, one thing I don't like about sword is there's no front loaded damage so you can't burst down mobs as quickly. Um, if you're fighting like lower health mobs and silver mobs. The other thing I didn't like about sword is both the great sword and axe mace build give you a third evade. Uh, axe mace obviously when you use eviscerate you're going to get 50% endurance and then with great sword you have the whirlwind. Uh, the sword build offers neither of those so you're going to have less survivability. It also doesn't have uh, very many multi-hitting attacks except for its burst skill. Um, so that's a downside as well and the burst skill roots you like uh, 100 blades. So overall I just don't like the sword build. I think it's inferior, the DPS is inferior, and the mobility is inferior. So I don't really see a reason to take it. Um, real quick, for the auto attack speed I just wanted to show you that as well. I think the tooltips can be misleading sometimes. So you can see a six cycle axe auto attack is pretty quick. The uh, great sword does have some delay at the end. Obviously the last hit's hitting for more though. And then if you switch to the sword, um, it's pretty slow as well. Gotta wait to get out of combat here. Because it felt really slow when I was uh, attacking. Obviously it has uh, backloaded damage with the third hit being pretty high. But um, So that's another reason why I like Axe or a great sword because they have more ways to proc your Omnom Berry food. Because if I use my burst here you can see it takes a while and you get rooted in place and the damage isn't very good where if you're using 100 blades at least you're getting really good damage and then if you're using axe auto attack and axe 2 you're getting really good damage as well. So hopefully these tests helped you out a little bit. Obviously not perfect, there's some human error involved, but since there's no DPS parser in the game currently and no way with practice dummies to measure um, DPS with like crits and conditions and actual uh, health, since the practice dummy health doesn't go down, um, this is my best attempt at trying to test the various builds and just get an overall idea of the strengths and weaknesses of each of them. So hopefully this helped and thanks for watching.